Hi students, good morning to everybody. In our last class we saw from this lesson cooking and eating. Okay, we have learned that food is a necessity for the body. Food is very important to get enough strength to work and play. So, when we get food, what are the different methods of cooking food we need to learn? Because we cannot just eat food raw. All the food items cannot be eaten raw. Okay, except fruits. Okay, some uh, greens. Some leaves like tulsi. That medicinal purpose leaves can be eaten raw whereas how to cook there are different methods of cooking we learned this already one way of cooking is steaming so it is a method that involves cooking food in steam produced by boiling a little water in a closed container like idli if you have seen how to make idli okay, then you know idlis and momos are cooked by steaming the method of steaming and the second one is boiling we can boil rice we can boil eggs okay we we need water water to boil things like rice and eggs and vegetables and the next one is baking in this method how we have to do we have to provide the food okay without adding water we need to cook the food by providing heat you just heat the food and the food is ready and you can bake it like biscuits okay and cakes can be baked and eaten you don't have to use water in it roasting the next method is roasting in this method food is cooked by directly heating over a heat without adding water even in this we don't add water like paneer papad and chicken are cooked by this method then we roast roast without adding water in it and frying the next one is frying how to fry we use oil usually we use oil to fry food and this method involves the cooking of food in oil so food can be fried in three different ways the first one is deep frying in the deep frying what we do the food is immersed in oil and cooked like puris and samosas we use I mean, we put puris and samosas when we cook we fry it we just pour more oil and we dip those uh, puris and samosas inside the oil and we fry it the next one is shallow frying shallow frying in this method what happens the food is cooked in less oil we don't pour a lot of oil but lightly slightly we use oil and we prepare like parathas are shallow fried we don't use a lot of oil for parathas and stir frying the food is cooked using very little oil again and of high heat like chow mein and uh, stir fried vegetables are made this way okay so uh, eating too much fried food can be harmful to our health as well so we don't always fry food and eat hmm? we have to avoid a lot of fry fried food fine so the next one oral questions i already in our last class we discussed what is stir fried chow mein is stir fried which one 
among these idlis or samosas not using water not using water oil or water is used to fry food to fry food we have to use oil not water in water you cannot fry food the next one what we are going to say is utensils used in cooking there are so many vessels we use in cooking they are called utensils used in the kitchen for cooking okay the food is cooked in different utensils hmm? different vessels we say and some of you had sent me beautiful videos of your own preparation of uh, your favorite items so you used a lot of vessels you a lot of utensils so their names we are going to learn utensils used to cook food on fire are mostly made of metal like stainless steel how it is made metal like stainless steel hmm? with what it is made it is made of metal like stainless steel aluminium and copper those utensils that we use to cook food on fire they are mostly made of metal like stainless steel aluminium and copper some utensils like tawa fry pan and ox are made of iron so look at the picture the first one is oak okay first one is oak and the next one fry pan again pressure cooker that is cooking pot and we, we can call it and again fry pan then below the dark one is griddle and saucepan or uh, we can call as casserole pot as well and the next one is ladle so all the, there are so many other items or utensils which can be used in cooking the factopedia says what food cooks faster in a pressure cooker and less fuel is also consumed for cooking okay when we use uh, the pressure cooker to cook food we we spend very less oil fuel gas okay the next one what we are going to see is there are different stoves and fuels so people use different kinds of stoves and fuels for cooking people in towns use gas stoves in your homes uh, in all your houses you have gas stoves you don't use any chulhas or mud stoves or kerosene stove or angidi no you don't use all this only in you know people in villages use angidi or chulwa to cook although some people uh, also use gas stoves in villages they use firewood and use stove as you know chulhas as stove and they use uh, wood as fuel in villages biogas is also used in villages for cooking biogas is also used for generating electricity as well and the table given below shows different kinds of stoves and the fuels used in them the first stove is chulhas that means mud stove should we use any kind of fuel or kerosene or anything for this kind of stove no what what is used in this stove is wood wood is used in this stove to prepare food and the next one is kerosene stove kerosene stove we use kerosene to prepare food the third one is angidi angidi means you know 
uh, in the picture they have given we use charcoal coal and make fire in it and we prepare food and the next one is a gas stove in gas stove we use lpg liquefied petroleum gas okay lpg that means liquefied petroleum gas mm. this one we all have in our houses okay then pipeline gas this is uh, the fuel is made of made from animals dung okay animals dung uh, like cow dung and all those dung is put together in a pit and uh, it is compressed and taken it is a compressed natural gas another word for it cng this also can be used a sun's energy is needed for solar cooker and when we heat the cooker and the energy is stored in it and we can cook food and the next one is electric oven or toaster or microwave this electricity is needed for this so electric current is used to cook food in this in this stove so burning coal and wood should be avoided as it causes air pollution so factopedia again says a gas cylinder weighs 14 kg when you when you buy a new cylinder you can just live you can weigh it if it is 14 kg then it is all right so it is usually weighing around 14 kg okay so what we have learned stoves and fuels different stoves and different fuels that are used to prepare food after pre preparing food what we have to do we have to learn to eat together in our family this is very important eating together in a family so it is a good practice why should we eat together it is actually a good practice to eat together as a family with our father mother if you have grandparents grandparents if you have sister sister then brother cousins aunties uncles everybody if you are living in a big family you know, learn to eat together with them if you are living in a nuclear small nuclear family it's the same learn to eat with a family okay together with a family most families eat dinner together at night mostly why because fathers our breakfast uh, our lunch all separately like with our mother we may eat but when our father comes back from his job it is always encouraging to eat with all the members of the family together so eating together gives a sense of togetherness it it means we are all one in the family so it is a time when family members share they the, the father may talk about his experience of that particular day in his job or whatever he has done okay mother also may share and you you can also share whatever you have done on that particular day what you studied some fun you had with your uh, friends or whatever whatever experience you had you can share the same with your family members so what they have done during the day with each other you have to share what you have done during the day with your father mother and they will share their uh, experience with you and most family members eat the same kind of food okay all family members eat the same food which they provide you in some families the elderly and old people eat light food because they are getting old so they need light food that's easy to digest for them okay and it is a good habit to eat whatever is served to you do not be adamant no i want only this no i don't want this no
eats because our parents are also eating the same so it is a good habit to eat whatever is served to you by your mother your mother serves you so you be happy and eat you should not be choosy about what you eat that's what i said you know i want only that i don't want vegetable i want only chicken no vegetable has enough nutrients so do not forget whatever is provided your mother knows what you need what your body needs so they have more concern on you whatever they provide you your mothers provide you you have to eat avoid eating junk food on a regular basis we should not eat lot of junk food regularly okay we should avoid it so this is it from this particular lesson cooking and eating and the oral questions let's go through like utensils used to cook food on fire are mostly made of what mostly made of metal like stainless steel aluminium and copper so the people in das used chulhas to cook people in villages used the third one das is used as a fuel in chulhas what is used as fuel wood is used as fuel in chulhas a das uses the sun's energy a solar cooker uses the sun's energy what is used coal is used as a fuel in angitis let's have a quick recall of what we have learned we learned that food is very essential for the body to stay alive to survive okay and the next some food can be eaten raw while some food need to be cooked before being eaten before we eat some food should be cooked need to be cooked and then roasting baking steaming frying boiling are some methods of cooking we learned and food is cooked in different vessels that also we learned and firewood coal lpg cow dung sun's energy electricity are different fuels used for cooking it is a good practice to eat at least one meal in a day with the family at least one meal you should bring your family together to eat even if they are busy call them to eat together you know at least once one meal in a day call them for dinner call them together for dinner it gives a feeling of togetherness and is a time for sharing things what is happening in you what is happening in the family what is happening with the father and mother and the next is the exercise boiling makes food food what softer or easier to chew or tasty or all of them easier to chew okay indirect heat is provided to food when they are when they are baked or roasted or fried and try to do it on your own first with the pencil you tick the correct answer and send it to me once i check your answers i will give you the correct answers again then you can correct them thank you very much if you have any doubt you can ask me personally